Hello, it's Sarah from All Craft TV. Welcome back, or if you are new here, hello and welcome. I wanted to share with you all this tutorial on how to crochet an easy kimono. I was inspired by this kimono that I brought from a clothes store, and I wanted to make something similar. This design is really easy to work up, and you only need to make two long rectangles that will be joined together halfway up the rectangles to make the kimono. So with that, let's get crocheting. I'll be using a 10 millimeter hook, yarn needle, scissors, and of course, your chosen yarn. I got this yarn from my local craft store and it is actually the mill ends or leftovers of yarn mixed together to create four balls of yarn. It has a lovely soft feel to it with a chainette style that goes from black, gray, white, gray, and then back to black. And this is how it works up using the pattern I will show you in this tutorial. Isn't it just lovely that the yarn is self-striping and it actually blends the color in really nicely. For the pattern, there are two rows of extended double crochet and I will walk you through how to do that stitch also. Then one row of extended double crochet, chain two, skip two stitches and then extended double crochet into the third stitch. And then the pattern is repeated until you get to your desired length of the kimono. To begin, we need to make a slip knot in chain 43 for a small kimono chain 53 for a medium kimono and 63 for large. For my actual kimono, I chain 63, but for this part of the tutorial, I'm only doing a sample to show you the pattern. So I did a total of 23 chains. Now that we have a foundation chain, we are going to skip two chains and into the third chain from the hook, do one extended double crochet. So we need to yarn over, insert our hook into the third chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through one loop only, yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through your last two loops on the hook. And that is your first extended double crochet. To do that again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one loop only, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through your last two loops on the hook to do an extended double crochet. I will go through that once more. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we need to keep doing one extended double crochet in each chain until you get to the end of this chain. So for a chain of 43, there should be 41 extended double crochets. For 53 chains, there should be 51 extended double crochets. And for 63 chains, you should have 61 extended double crochets. That was my last extended double crochet for the first row. Now we need to chain two and turn our work. Yarn over and into this very first stitch do one extended double crochet because the chain two is only a turning chain and it doesn't count as an extended double crochet. Into the next stitch, do one extended double crochet. And into the following stitch, do one extended double crochet. Just keep doing one extended double crochet in each stitch until you reach the end of the row. I am just finishing row two now.
and you should have two rows of extended double crochets. For row three, we need to chain four and turn our work. Two chains act as one extended double crochet and the other two chains helps to form a gap in the work. So skip the very first stitch Then skip two stitches after that and into the next stitch do one extended double crochet. Chain two, skip two stitches and into the third stitch do one extended double crochet. Chain 2, skip 2 stitches and extend to double crochet 1 into the 3rd stitch. Keep repeating that pattern until you reach the end of the row. This is my second last extended double crochet. We need to chain 2 skip two stitches and into the very last stitch do one extended double crochet to finish row three. Your work should look similar to this so the chain two helps to form the gaps in between the work. For row four we need to chain two and turn our work. Into the very first stitch coming from the last row extended double crochet do one extended double crochet into that stitch. Now into the chain two space, do two extended double crochets. That's one extended double crochet. And two extended double crochets. Into the next stitch, Coming from the extended double crochet from the previous row, do one extended double crochet into that stitch. Now into the chain two space, extended double crochet two. That's one extended double crochet. And two extended double crochets. Into this next stitch, do one extended double crochet. And now we just need to keep repeating this pattern until the end of the row. I am at the end of the row and doing one extended double crochet into the stitch. Now we are at the last chain two space for this row and we need to do three extended double crochets into that space. That's one extended double crochet, two extended double crochets and three extended double crochets. We are going to repeat row two and then row three. So these entire two rectangles will have repeating rows of row four to six. Count your stitches just to make sure you have the same amount that you started with for row one. You don't wanna accidentally increase or decrease your work. Now for row five, we need to chain two and turn our work. Into this first stitch, do one extended double crochet. Into the next stitch, do one extended double crochet. And into the following stitch, extended double crochet one. Now just do one extended double crochet in each stitch until you get to the end of the row. I am just doing my last few extended double crochets for row five. Now 
Now we need to repeat this pattern for row 6. So chain 4 and turn your work. Skip the very first stitch and the two stitches after that and do one extended double crochet into the following stitch. Chain 2, skip 2 stitches and do 1 extended double crochet into the 3rd stitch. Chain 2, skip 2 stitches and into the 3rd stitch do 1 extended double crochet. Just keep repeating that pattern until you get to the end of the row. Chain 2 and into the very last stitch do 1 extended double crochet to finish the row. To make the rest of the two rectangles, follow this pattern, so just keep repeating rows 4 to 6 until you have your desired length. These are my two rectangles, I did a total of 53 rows, and we are going to be joining them together halfway up the rectangles. So you can either count your stitches, then place a stitch marker like I have done on either side of the rectangle, or you can fold them in half and sew them up to that stitch. This is one end of the kimono, and I am going to use the invisible seam to sew the two rectangles together. So we need to start from the end, and with your needle and yarn, weave it in through the two bottom stitches, and then tie a knot to secure it. Now starting from the last grey stitch here, weave your needle through that stitch just like this. Now weave the yarn through the corresponding black stitch that is opposite to the grey one. We need to weave the yarn through the next grey stitch on the other side that you started at and pull the yarn through. Then line it up with the corresponding stitch and weave the yarn through that stitch. Now going into this next stitch here, weave the yarn through the stitch We need to weave the yarn through the next stitch on the opposite side, just like this. And that is how you do the invisible seam to join the two rectangles together. Just keep repeating this all the way up to the stitch markers to be able to join the two rectangles together. With this type of joining method, you shouldn't be able to see the seam. When you get up to the stitch markers, just tie the yarn together and then weave the ends to finish your work. You should have one side that is open, which will be at the front of your body, and the other side should be joined together. And this is the finished product, and I absolutely love it. It keeps me nice and warm in winter as a kimono, or if you make it long enough, it can actually double as a blanket. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment below and let me know how you went with this design on our Facebook page. Please also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button 
so you don't miss out on any tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a marvellous day. We'll see you next time.